Hi, this is Evan Lewis again, and you're on Evan eSend channel, and I'm trying to catch up on a bit of a backlog of videos I wanted to make. This one's about uh, a handle for the cross light. Now, when I got this lathe, the cross light handle was broken, and I had to make a new hand stem for it, the part you hold onto. And unfortunately, it's stainless steel, and it's so heavy that it tends to make the um, cross-light unwind to the lowest point of gravity uh, which works against what you're trying to do so I decided I should try to balance it up a bit so I've made a little knob that goes on the opposite side almost as heavy as the original handle if this doesn't work out I can go back to the original handle and take a bit of meat off it to make them balance so here goes So that handle weighs 20, 30, 35, 37, 39 grams. And the new handle on the opposite end weighs about 35 grams. So about 4 grams difference, it should be okay. Here I have the crossbar of the handle mounted in a four, four jaw chuck. The balls on the ends of these things were just uh, turned freehand. I don't have a ball cutter. Uh, I just uh, cut a few angles um, with the cross slide and then um, file it off roughly round. And uh, this one that's rounded, now I was going to have to have a flat cut on it so that I can screw the new knob on that location. The first job is to remove the self-centering three-jaw chuck and replace it with the four-jaw chuck with the handle in it. And you'll hear a bit of loud noise in a minute. This is the fan in the speed controller for the direct current motor I've now installed. And actually in the top left hand corner of this picture you can see a silver box. That is a stainless steel cover for the DC motor. Uh, it has a lot of air drawing through it with a fan and it was sucking swarf into the motor so I put a stainless steel box around this end where the swarf is. The other end is open so it gets good airflow up there. Now I'm putting on my um, quick change tool post, which I like, and in there I have um, a tool with a silicon carbide insert in it, and I like using those. I have seven of these uh, quick mount units that I can put on the tool post, and they're very handy, but my complaint is that I never seem to have enough, and I'm constantly having to take tools out of one to put a, a different tool in, and I've ordered another four. And one disadvantage of having to change the tool holders is that you have to recheck the level each time since they may change when you put a different tool in, although these particular tools don't change very much. So I'm adjusting the height of the tool uh, using the uh, live center and the tailstock, and then I'll just swing it around on the, here we go, on the uh, cross slide and ready to go. This material is stainless steel, so it's actually quite hard, and the silicon carbide tip does fine with that. You may be wondering why I'm rotating the compound slide around 90 degrees so that it's parallel with the cross slide. Well, the reason is the cross slide doesn't have a handle on it, so I'm using the handle on the compound slide instead to do the turning.
going for these silicon carbide tips like they're going out of style. This stainless steel is quite hard, it's not very forgiving. Keep a little swarf in this screw and it's hard to get the tool in properly. So star connector. So I'm trying to turn a flat plane on the front of this ball and as you approach the center it leaves a little bit of metal behind in a little um, nipple-like uh, projection and if you try to push your silicon carbide tool through that projection it'll chip the end of your tool so that's what happened and I had to turn the um, insert around and use the other end.